And also, we are also looking at the area of um, supply of booklets and to uh, what they call to uh, centers and increasing our number of production centers. We're looking at that option too of how we will need to, to solve that. The bottom line is we're looking at a timeline of two weeks. For, I mean, in the interim, Nigerians shouldn't wait for more than two weeks before getting their passport. I said it when I went to immigration. It is unacceptable. You cannot make a right look like a privilege. It is unacceptable, and I stand by that, and I have told them that. And you can, you can be rest assured I, that uh, we are working around the clock, and uh, we have also, as I said earlier, we've met with our, some of our service providers, and we have we've told them point blank that you have an agreement with the federal government for so so number of years does not translate into, into automatic continuation of the agreement. For every agreement, there has to be performance before consideration. So if you are a service provider and you are not performing, I mean, in line with the requirement of the agreement or in line with the yearnings of Nigerians, then we have no choice but to terminate such agreement and look for people that are ready to do this, the job. And also, we're also looking at convergence of services. The number of service providers that we have, it's so much. And we need to be able to converge our, our services and be able to know at every point in time who is responsible for what. When uh, there are tasks, when there are responsibilities, and there are no clear cut, um, uh, uh, there's no clear cut accountability, then abuse becomes uh, uh, unavoidable. So we are looking at all these things, and also we are also looking at how to reduce the human factor. That means the interaction of Nigerians with uh, even uh, public officers. Nigerians should be able to do their passport, the whole passport process, with very minimal interaction, physical interaction, with uh, with with, with um, uh, passport officers, with immigration officers, or with. Uh, we have to look at this era of technology. We have to use technology, and we are. We are working seriously on it, and I'm very sure that in the next couple of uh, one, two weeks, there will be some changes and there will be some uh, um, guidelines that will come out. And of course, we have told immigration, even immigration officers, there has to be penalty for people who deliberately sabotage the process. We will not allow sabotage. We will not allow anybody to sabotage the whole process of of uh, passport system because so many people just want to sabotage because they want to collect money because of uh, illicit dealings because of uh, you know or, or, there are a lot of things going on and I assure you it's not going to be it's not going to be um, the same old story we are not just ready to back we are ready to bite the president is passionate about this he's so concerned about it why Nigerians will he's so concerned that Nigerians should be treated with utmost respect Nigerians should be able to see a right as a right you know not as a privilege he's so concerned he's so bothered that this situation cannot continue like this 